All right, today we have a new Illustrator tutorial and it should be fairly simple. I just, I wanna talk about guides and grids um, because I think a lot of users, especially new users, struggle and might not even know that there are these helpful little guides that can help you keep everything aligned in your design. So let's start with the most important, um, how to make a guide on your document. So right now I don't have my rulers showing on the left or the right, but you need your rulers showing in order to pull down a guide. So the shortcut is a control R, or if you're on a Mac, it's the Apple R. <laughs> and you can see now that I have my rulers on the left and at the top, which I suppose a ruler is um, technically a guide as well. So to pull down a guide, all you have to do is click on your ruler and drag down and you can see that little gray dotted line comes and let's say I wanted to make a square. So I'm gonna pull down a guide here I'm going to pull down one from the left, put it right at the two inch mark, there, and then I'm going to pull down another one, so I'm about two inches from the top, another one from the left, right at the four, so now I have a square, and if I wanted to make a diamond or something, now my guides are there. So I can easily do that. So um, I'm trying to think what I use guides for. If I am doing, like if I'm designing a flyer and usually in print design you have a safe area meaning you want to keep anything that doesn't bleed any text any copy that kind of thing inside your um, inside the safe area which is usually a quarter inch around um, the whole page so what I would do is first we're gonna clear out these guides so if you go to view and down to guides here's all the controls for your guides um, you can hide them, you can unlock them, you can clear them. So I'm going to do clear, and that gets rid of the ones that I already made because I don't want them anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and drag out to a quarter of an inch on the left and the right. So there. Oh, wasn't quite far enough down. So now, if I was going to design my flyer, I would know and I could keep all my text and copy um, inside these guides um, if they don't bleed. Another little trick with guides is you can snap to the guides and here we go. Snap to grid, snap to point, snap to pixel. These are all your little snaps here, and we're going to do snap to point, which means if you have some guides set up and you draw an object, you can kind of feel when you get close to the guide, it'll kind of snap into place. Um, so that you know no, nope, it's not snapping. Hold on. Make, unlock, release, smart guides. Don't want that. Oh, there we go. It is snap to grid. Snap to grid. under here is the one I wanted. So I drew my box over here, but I wanted to align it within my guides and you can feel, once you get within about an eighth of an inch, it kind of just grabs it and pulls it. 
so that you get it lined up perfectly. Um, so that's really handy. And there is a shortcut. Let's see. It is command or control semicolon. And if you do that, you can hide your guides. They don't necessarily go away, but you can hide them. Um, and then if you do a control um, quotation mark, which is right next to it, your grid will pop up. So sometimes this is really handy um, for making sure that you get stuff lined up exactly where you want them to and to make sure your lines are straight. Um, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to start here. So let's make sure that that's lined up. And so now that I have my grid on, I'm going to turn my guides off. My grid is gray, this is the small squares, and my guides are cyan. So I'm going to turn my guides off, and it's now you can tell it's snapping to the grid lines. And I'm going to pull that out, and it totally just didn't, it just snapped right to it. And if you have your object selected, and you do a shift, control, alt, can slide a copy of it over and it will snap to the grid lines and you can have things perfectly spaced. So there are a lot of um, instances where your grid and your guides will come in handy. And I believe you can, if you go under edit, preferences, guides, and grid, you can change the color of your grid and guidelines um, because sometimes, not very often, but once in a while, uh, your guidelines might fade into the color of your project. So you might need to change your guides color in order to see them. And you can do dots instead of lines. You can customize your grid. You can make it a color instead of gray. You can um, make it lines or dots, and then you can change the, like we, the default is a one inch square, which is right here, but you can change that if you're working in um, something. If you need a different size grid, you can change the subdivisions. So yeah, there's a lot that you can do with customizing your guides and grids.